Let's get right into it. Number 8. The Micro Expression Trap You've probably seen those human lie detector shows where someone raises an eyebrow for zero, one second and the detective's like, Aha! You're hiding something! Well, here's the thing. Your brain can actually catch that same eyebrow flick. It's just too lazy to forward the memo. Micro expressions are these split-second emotional slips that leak out before someone can fake a smile or pretend they're not nervous. Your subconscious sees it, it logs it, but your conscious brain is too busy thinking about what to say next, or whether your breath smells like the coffee you chugged earlier. This internal lag is why you sometimes get that weird gut feeling, like something's off, but you can't quite explain why. That's your subconscious trying to throw a paper airplane across the mental office to say, Hey, uh, they're lying. Unfortunately, your conscious brain is probably scrolling Instagram and misses the flight completely. So the next time someone swears they never got your text, and your stomach feels like it just dropped one floor lower, that's not anxiety. That's your built-in micro-expression radar trying to scream through a pillow. Basically, your subconscious is Sherlock Holmes, and your conscious brain is Watson on three hours of sleep. Number 7. The Voice Frequency Glitch Your ears are tattletales. They can hear emotional tension, even when your words can't. When people lie, their voice pitch often changes ever so slightly, like a stressed violin string. But the human brain doesn't translate that difference. It just makes you feel uneasy. Researchers found that tiny changes in voice frequency trigger an instinctive response in the amygdala, the part of your brain responsible for fear and suspicion. It's ancient survival software. Back in caveman days, if someone sounded off, it might mean danger, or at least someone trying to convince you the berries weren't poisonous. Spoiler, they were. Now, in modern life, this same glitch makes you distrust someone during a conversation, even when you don't know why. You might think, hmm, she seems nice, but something about her voice gives me the ick. That's not rudeness, that's neuroscience. Your brain hears the lie. It just doesn't translate it into words. It sends the message through feelings, tension, hesitation, that subtle sense that the air thickened by 1%. So yes, your ears know when someone's lying. They're basically emotional lie detectors. The problem is, your mouth never got the memo. Number 6. The Blinking Paradox Let's play a game. Blink as fast as you can right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. See how weird that feels? That's how your brain feels when someone's lying to you. When people lie, they either blink too much or not at all. It's an involuntary reaction, the body trying to regulate stress or maintain control, and your brain notices it. Your visual cortex flags it instantly, but then your prefrontal cortex, the logic boss, swoops in like, Don't be paranoid. They're just tired. Bye. This is where the irony hits. Your body detects deception faster than any polygraph machine ever could, but your conscious mind gaslights itself into ignoring the signs. That's why you'll watch a video of a politician later and think, wait, how did I not see that? Because your subconscious did. It just didn't have the clearance to send you an official report until three days later in the shower. So, in short, your eyes know who's lying. Your brain just prefers to let you embarrass yourself first. Number 5. The Empathy Delay Here's something uncomfortable. Empathy makes you bad at spotting lies. The more emotionally connected you are to someone, the worse your brain becomes at detecting deception. Why? Because your brain values harmony over truth. When you care about someone, your brain filters out red flags faster than a PR team after a scandal. It's like, hmm, that sounded suspicious, but they love me, so it's fine. Meanwhile, your subconscious is waving flares in the background, yelling, it's not fine, it's so not fine. This emotional override explains why people often ignore obvious lies in relationships, friendships, or even with family. The brain literally turns down the suspicion dial to keep the emotional peace. It's a feature, not a bug, one designed to keep the tribe together, even if it means you occasionally get lied to about who finished the last slice of cake. So yeah, your heart might skip a beat, but your brain skips the truth. Number 4. The Gut Alarm System You know that sinking feeling in your stomach when someone's story doesn't quite add up? That's not just nerves. That's your enteric nervous system doing all the detective work your conscious brain refuses to. Yep, your gut literally has its own nervous system, over a hundred million neurons, basically a second brain that evolved to keep you alive back when lying meant pretending the cave wasn't full of tigers, when your body senses inconsistency, maybe from subtle body language, micro-expressions, or tone, your gut reacts first. It sends this wave of unease, like a low-level alarm, but instead of translating it as warning, possible liar detected, your conscious mind goes, hmm, maybe I just need to eat something. This is why your gut instincts are often more accurate than you think. Studies have shown that people who rely on intuition instead of logic catch lies faster. Your gut is decoding social tension and emotional shifts before your brain finishes buffering the last sentence. Basically, your stomach knows you're being lied to, but your brain, being the drama queen it is, dismisses the signal like, relax, we're fine, spoiler, we're not fine. 
So next time you feel that subtle gut twist, don't blame the coffee. Blame the lie your body just intercepted. Number 3. The Face Reading Glitch Let's talk about faces, those fleshy mood screens your brain can't stop analyzing. Humans are wired to read faces faster than any other visual pattern. It's evolutionary, recognizing fear, anger, or deceit kept you alive. But here's the twist. Your brain's face reading software is outdated. It still runs on prehistoric instincts. So when someone lies, your subconscious instantly scans for micro twitches, things like asymmetrical smiles, fake laughter, or that fraction of a second eyebrow raise. It catches it, it logs it, and then your logical brain swoops in to completely ignore it. Why? Because your conscious mind likes stories that make sense, not feel right. It's built to prioritize coherence over truth. So if the liar's words fit your expectations, your brain files them under sounds legit, even if the face said, nope. You ever rewatch a video or conversation and suddenly notice the fake smile, the nervous twitch, the delayed blink, and think, how did I miss that? You didn't. Your subconscious noticed instantly, but your conscious brain chose the comforting lie over the uncomfortable truth. Basically, your face reading software works fine. You just keep ignoring the pop-up warnings. Number 2. The Memory Rewrite Here's the creepiest part. Your brain doesn't just miss lies. It sometimes helps them. When someone lies to you convincingly enough, your brain can literally rewrite your memory to match their version of reality. It's called memory conformity. Your hippocampus, which stores memories, merges information from other people's accounts, even false ones, with your own. So if someone insists that something happened differently, and they sound confident enough, your brain goes, oh yeah. Maybe I'm the one who remembered it wrong. This is why eyewitness testimonies are notoriously unreliable. It's also why you've probably argued with a friend about a shared memory, and one of you swears the other is lying. But both of you are convinced you're right. Your brain doesn't like conflict. So instead of confronting the lie, it just edits reality. Like, uh, maybe they're right. Let's delete that part and move on. In other words, your brain isn't just a victim of lies, it's an accomplice, a willing co-conspirator in your own confusion. Number 1. The Comfort Filter And finally, the biggest reason your brain hides the truth from you. Comfort. The human mind will do almost anything to avoid discomfort, even if it means believing a lie. When the truth threatens your sense of security, belonging, or ego, your brain steps in with its favorite defense mechanism, denial. It filters out conflicting data, rewrites logic, and pats you on the head like, there, there, let's not ruin the vibe. This is why you can sense someone lying but still go along with it. Because the alternative accepting betrayal, disappointment, or awkward confrontation feels worse. Your brain is not built for truth. It's built for emotional survival. So when someone smiles and lies straight to your face, your neurons light up, your gut tenses, your eyes catch the flicker, and your brain calmly says, everything's fine. It's not stupidity. It's self-preservation. Your brain knows you're being lied to. It just doesn't tell you. Because sometimes, lies are easier to live with than the truth.